I'm not allowed to work due to the government shutdown. Um, as a contractor, I'm in an interesting position that unlike a employee of the federal government, I'm not allowed to work and I will not get back pay. Um, I'm forced to use all my vacation time and then I'm put on leave without pay where I just have to wait till things open back up and use up our savings or whatever else we have to do to keep things moving along. I think the uncertainty is really hard because you just have no idea whether this is whether I'm going to lose a week of income or a month of income. Um, and at what point do I decide to go find a different job and um, you know sort of sort of leave the project I'm working on high and dry in a sense. They gave us letters, for example. They give you they give you this mass letter that okay, you can present this to your creditor and let them know that you know you shut down, but you will get paid. That creditor can care less about that letter. This is not my first shutdown. I've been with the Internal Revenue Service over 25 years. I already know that letter means absolutely nothing to the creditor. Nothing. It will still get reported out if you miss a bill. It's like I'm sitting in my home with a hoodie on because I know I could turn the thermostat down and kind of cut back on what my electric bill would have been. We're almost the, the, the pawns in a political chess game and it has nothing to do with us. We're federal employees, we're apolitical. We're not supposed to have opinions on these things. And, you know, to involve us in this at, at, at such, a, such a personal level, you know, by essentially holding hostage our, our, our paychecks while, you know, they fight amongst themselves over political issues is, is unfair. It's unfair to everybody.